I must confess that when the IPL started, like a lot of other people, I was a little skeptical as well. How would life in the bubble be? How would travel in the times of COVID be? Should the tournament be held at all? A few friends of mine said, no, the tournament shouldn't be held because you never know what if the pandemic spreads within the tournament. There was a lot of concern about the tournament before it started. There was, there was a little negative air around as well uh, and people didn't quite know what to expect and I must admit I didn't quite know what to expect when I landed here how many COVID tests would I have to do I've done 14 or 15 now by the way and uh, the little swab going up the nose is at best uh, a momentary irritation now what this tournament has done has exceeded my expectations I hoped it would be good it has been outstanding it's been outstanding for many reasons I think it's brought a smile back to people if you look at the scenario just before this tournament started, it, it, life was very grim. We, we were hearing very sad stories. And while sport can never overcome sadness, sport can at least give you something to smile about. And I think from the 19th of September to today, this tournament has given people something to smile about, something to look forward to. They get up in the morning and say, I'm going to see some pure, wholesome entertainment. Somebody will win, somebody will lose. But in the end, we will have been entertained. There was not much to watch on television. What there was wasn't very wasn't very wholesome, wasn't very nice. There was bickering, there was there were talk of scandals, and suddenly the tournament came about. And that is why I think this tournament has actually, at the end of it all, the IPL has become a stronger brand. And it has shown the power of sport to bring joy to people's lives. I'm, I've said that very often: that when everything is grim, go to the back pages. When everything is grim, turn on your sets and watch sport because it has the ability to make you smile. It has the ability to bring a ray of sunshine into otherwise dark times. A lot of people have talked about the psychological effects of a bubble. I'm going to have a slightly contrary view. It's not easy. Yes, I will admit it's not easy. I, I have now done about 45, 50 days in a bubble. You keep meeting the same people all the time. But it's still been very comfortable. There have been a lot of people whose lives have been thrown asunder whose lives have been completely changed by this pandemic. And I don't think people who are very well paid, who are living a relative life of luxury, should focus too much on the problems of a bubble because you're still far more privileged than everybody else. I mean, I know of people who are down to their last bit of saving because there were no jobs available. Suddenly the IPL has come around. It's given a lot of people a livelihood. It's given a lot of people joy. I'm not saying that it is a panacea for all ills because that would give sport far too much importance. But I've been overjoyed by all that has happened in the last seven, eight weeks or so because uh, I think it's given people a reason to be happy. I think the IPL is a stronger brand. Uh, I think sport has this power and I'm, I've been overjoyed to have been part of it.